All right, welcome to the Kingsport trailer. Um, thanks for renting with us. We're really excited to have you as our guests. So you'll notice initially our first uh, first order of the day will be to get this hooked up to your vehicle. And um, we have sway bars that accompany this if you plan to travel for longer distance or if you have a vehicle that doesn't have a lot of towing capacity, it's just safer for you and our fam your family. Um, we'll use these chucks later once you get settled at your campsite and you'll pop those underneath the tires on both sides just to protect it from rolling away. Um, here we have the propane tank and you'll notice that it's a traditional barbecue propane on and off. And then here you have this activator. So you'll want it turned into the other position in order for it to um, expel the propane. And in order to check that, you can just use the um, stove on the inside to make sure propane's flowing through the um, valves properly. So here's where your hydro is. Um, you'll grab this little uh, thing. This pulls out all the way and there's actually an extension cord under the bed if you need more. There's an adapter for this that exists inside the front drawer and that'll help you to adapt to different um, hydro poles. Most provincial parks need an adapter and that's on the inside there. When you fill up your water when you arrive, you're going to use this tank to fill up your water. This is what's going to give you water for um, the sinks and the washrooms. Um, it's really important that you note when you're filling up the tank, there's two stations at provincial parks. One is for dumping of sewage. Do not get water from there because that those hoses are all contaminated. Use the water that exists at the water filling station only for filling up this water because it'll keep your family safe and not ill. Before you travel, you're going to need to know that all these windows are shut. Right now we have them open, so we're airing it out for you. Um, this is a great storage space. Um, you'll open it up and you'll find various uh, tools that you might need for camping, such as a food prep table, uh, tarps. Um, you'll find a dining tent, some outdoor lawn games, as well as all of the um, sway bars, chucks, and uh, different locks and things like that that you okay, might Okay, so these are your stabilizer legs. And on our trailer, we have two that are attached to the trailer and we have two that are hold, held in that storage thing. You're gonna wanna use all four so that the trailer is really stable for you and you don't get any wiggle. It, there's nothing grosser than waking up in the morning, maybe after you've had a big night and the trailer's wiggling around. So that will just help keep it stable. There is a crank underneath the trailer and you'll use that on this part and you'll pop them up all the way. There's also a level in the trailer that will help you to uh, make sure that it's level and that you're not on a, on a ledge. All right, this is the fun stuff. So this is your sewage and wastewater holding tank and your connections. This is the yucky part of the job and we packed gloves in the underneath the sink for you to use just to protect your hands and to keep you clean and safe. So this over here is your gray water. This over here is your dark water. Gray water is like sink, shower, and all of that stuff. Dark water is toilet and sewage related. So this is the one you wanna be really cautious of. We store the um, hose inside this component on the trailer. So if you open that up, you'll find the hose inside. That hose connects here and it just like clicks in on that side. Then you'll put the end of the hose into the sewage dumping tank that's at your um, trailer spot. The first thing you're going to do is do this one. It, it is stinky, it's gross. You'll pull it out and all of the contents of your toilet will empty into the sewage um, tank that you're dumping it into. After, you'll use this gray water one and that will like flush the system and flush the hose so that it's just all like, you know, semi-clean, not sewage-based water that will like clean and tidy it all up. Um, once that's completely empty, you make sure both of these are shut and, and back in the space. I would leave it a little bit maybe give the hose a little jiggle to make sure there's like no weird water that's gonna drip out when you pull it off and then unhook it and fire it back in there. This trailer has an awning, which is great because you don't always have to do the whole like tarp thing if it starts to rain. This awning is opened up here and underneath the bed, there's a white um, crank that you'll open up the awning all the way with and then you can close it at the end. Make sure it's in the locked position or unlocked before you start winding because it'll get all weird. If there's rain on this side of the trailer, the arm will actually bend in and you can make sure the rain pulls off of the awning and out so that it's not like creating a big bubble of water because that, that'll wreck it. Hey, I'm Sarah. I'm the owner of the trailer and I just wanted to walk you through how we can make this all work. In this trailer, we have heating and air conditioning, which is awesome for like late fall camping and middle of the summer camping. And the air conditioning just turns on by pushing this all the way. You can go hot or cold and you can adjust the air as in like this or it'll come straight out. It's amazing to like push out the morning air and get the trailer all refreshed for the day and it keeps things really, really cold. It operates off of the hydro that okay, you plug. So here we have our fridge and freezer. 
when you're not using the fridge, leave it open. Otherwise it'll get a little bit um, musty in there. It's just like any fridge when it's not in operation, it'll get moldy. So when you arrive and you plug into your hydro, you're gonna see these buttons light up. So we've got auto and we've got check. So initially it will check. And this fridge will operate off of your hydro or gas. And so if you're operating off the propane, just click that button, um, but you turn it on and off here. The fridge gets warm in about three, oh, sorry, cold in about three hours. And there is a freezer. And once this is nice and cold, this freezer will keep popsicles and meat and all that great stuff frozen for as long as you need it. So this is the top bunk area. You'll notice this big cushion back here. That cushion is actually to turn the table into a bed. If you don't want that cushion uh, to come with you on your trip, totally understandable and we can store it for you. Or sometimes it'll store kind of like nicely up there, but it is a little bit dirty up there if, if this is um, open. Um, this is our table situation. You'll notice that this table turns into a bed. And so in order to do that, I know it's a little bit squishy in here, um, you'll take these uh, poles, they pop out, you kind of got to give them some muscle and you can just lay them down on the ground around here. Then this table piece actually, um, you know, folds right into here. And just while we're under here, there is a ton of storage under there if you want to hold like extra clothing or kids toys or whatever you got going on. Um, so that's the table. The best part about this trailer I find is this slide. So you'll notice right now we're like operating with a smaller space. The slide is right here. So you'll just push this button once you've hooked into hydro and you'll push um, out. Make sure there's nothing behind you. I've totally done that before where I like almost banged it into some trees. Do a little walk around and then you can open it up. This will push all the way out and it'll actually line up perfectly with this seam so that you don't get any bugs and things like that in there. And that will extend your space by about four feet inside, which makes it a little bit more comfortable. This is the washroom tour. Um, here you see we have a pedal uh, toilet. Whatever the contents of the toilet are, it will drain into the dark water tank. And again, I'll tell you about that later. There is an enzyme that exists inside the tank that helps to break down the contents. And so we'll put that in at the beginning of every stay and you don't have to worry about it at all. Um, there is a fan, the shower works the same as the sink. You have hot and cold water and you have a hose up here. So I noticed that um, the tank will fill quite Okay, quickly. so in regards to the washrooms and the water tanks, I find if I'm using the shower, washing dishes, and using the sink all the time, I have about three days in the, in the tank, and then I have to empty it, it will fill and it will be too full. And I'll also run out of water, so that's the problem there. Um, if you're more industrious with your water usage, so like you're just using the sink for like maybe filling up hot water into a bucket or maybe just washing hands and using the toilet, I think you can get about five to seven days out of it and I have uh, extended it that way. So just a tiny little tip. So this is the bottom bunk area. You'll notice that there is a, um, a window here. Sometimes this window pops out, don't stress. It pops right back in real easy. Sometimes if you have little kids, the screen will pop out and it just slides back on. So please don't stress about things like that or just want to make sure you have a great time. This is just a regular microwave. It works like a microwave. Um, if you have any problems with it, of course, reach out. This stereo, you can attach it here with an auxiliary cable if you want to attach it right to your phone. Otherwise, it takes CDs and it has a, a radio um, adapter outside so you can get a bunch of stations if you're not too far north. When you arrive at your campsite and you want to turn on the water, all you have to do is to flick this switch and you'll see that it, this light will come on. And this will turn on the hot water heater. You'll hear some tick, tick, tick down in here. It's attached to the propane tank. So you're gonna need to have the propane tank on and in the activated position. And I'll show you that in another video, but um, that's how you get the hot water heater going. This sink has hot and cold water and there's a little stopper there. So if you need to do dishes or anything like that, once you flush it through, it will go into the gray water tank and at the end of your trip, you'll empty the gray water and the dark water tank, and I'll tell you how to do that in another video as well. Over here, we have this stove. So this is a propane stove, and all you'll do is to turn it into the on position and light, and you'll take a lighter and you'll actually start the flames. This goes pretty hot and your food will cook really fast. If you notice that it's not coming on right away when you have a lighter near it, it's just like a barbecue, you wanna light it really, really quickly. Um, you may have to go check the propane tank and make sure that it's on.